Another episode of Hip Hop Caviar is ready in three, two, one. Coco the Doll, one of the subjects of a forthcoming documentary on transgender women, was fatally shot in Atlanta this week, the film's publicist said Friday. She was 35 years old. Synetic Media, the publicity firm representing Kokomo City, which highlights the stories of four black transgender sex workers in the New York City and Georgia area, confirmed by email that Coco the Doll was the transgender woman killed Tuesday in Atlanta. The homicide is the third fatal shooting of a transgender woman in the city since the beginning of the year, the police department said in a statement on Friday. While these individual incidents are not related, we are very aware of the epidemic level violence that black and brown transgender women face in America. Today's shooting was reported at 10.42 p.m. at an address that corresponds to a shopping center. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene. Like the two other attacks this year on transgender women, one January 9th that followed a dispute and one April 11th that also followed a dispute, the case is still under investigation. Police said there's no evidence so far to suggest the victims were targeted because of their gender. Our investigators have not found any indication the victim was targeted for being transgender or a member of the LGBTQ community, and these cases do not appear to be random acts of violence, the police said. GLAAD, GLAD, announced the death of Coco the Doll, who was known by the name Rashida Williams, on Friday and stated Williams should be alive today. All transgender people deserve to live in safety and acceptance, be loved by their families, communities, and able to contribute to a world where they are free. The documentary director, D. Smith, told Variety magazine the killing was difficult for her to process. I created Kokomo City because I wanted to show the fun, humanized, natural side of black trans women. But here we are again. Let me know what you think in the, con in the comments. Do you think this is some type of an epidemic where transgender women all over the United States are being targeted? This is the third killing in that area of Atlanta since the beginning of the year. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Please check me out on Spotify and iHeartRadio. And as always, if you like what you hear, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe.